What is up, y'all? It's your boy Tobias Young here, and I'm coming in straight out the gate with a product review that is off the chain. This Pit Boss Ultimate Griddle 5 Burner Series, <laughs> this thing is so intense. I could not contain myself while I was putting this together and editing this video. Look, if you are a cook like me, and if you're trying to show off this summer and have some bomb dinner parties with your friends outside, look no further, because I already got y'all. In this video, I'm going to show y'all how we put this bad boy together, what I think about it, and where you can go to get your hands on one. So let's go right on ahead and let's get into it. <laughs> What's up, y'all? All right, look. So we about to get this Pit Boss Ultimate Griddle Series Pro unboxed. This is the five burner griddle with the cabinet. I'm about to get this opened up, assembled, and then I will give y'all my review on the process of putting it together on whether it was difficult or not. All right, y'all. So it's seeming like there actually aren't really that many pieces that actually need to be put together. This is looking like the back dressing of the griddle itself, the drawers, the paper towel holder, um, and then the only thing we really have left is the actual base and then the griddle itself. So there's actually not that many pieces. So the assembly actually should not be that bad. Hey right, y'all, since this thing weighs about a thousand pounds, it seems, we're just going to cut the box and just lay the box flat. That way it is going to be a whole heck of a lot easier getting this big ass machine up out of this box. But she is pretty though. I'll tell you that much. All right, so we've got the big part out. Now we got to get the griddle itself. All right, y'all, first things first, we are going to attach the legs to the base of our griddle. All right, y'all, so we've attached um, side 13 opposite of the pump. Um, this is where the, the tank will go. So side 13 will go opposite, and we're now securing that to the bottom. All right, so now we're doing the exact same thing on the opposite side. And honestly, this installation so far has been very simple. It's just adding in five screws at the bottom and adding on the wheels um, at the base. So the good thing is essentially a majority of this is actually already put together because we don't have to deal with any of the wiring or any of that stuff when it comes to this. So it really is us just putting the base together. We'll sit that bad boy on top, then add the griddle at the last step, and then that's essentially it. All right, y'all, so now we're installing the back unit, which all we have to do is just slide it straight down and we'll put three screws on each side. Three screws here, three screws there. All right, y'all, so we have the back part attached. So let's keep on rolling. All right, y'all, so now we're attaching the centerpiece unit, which is just three screws at the bottom and two screws up top. So far, still pretty simplistic. All right, y'all. So we got on the centerpiece just fine. And now we're working on adding in the brace that goes right across the front. And once again, we're still working with the same screws here. It is two screws that are going to go right here, one in the center and two screws there. So like I said, so far, so good. Still not too complicated. And I will say, I was kind of worried about, you know, the stability of this, but the more we put it together, the more that it definitely does seem like it will be able to hold up the weight of that ceramic griddle that we will be placing on here in just a few short moments. It is a really nice day out, y'all. So I'm happy that I chose today for us to go ahead and put this bad boy together because... I definitely don't want to do this on a day when it is extremely hot. Um, so yeah. Y'all, so we've added in the rack here. This one on this side was actually already, it came installed, so we just had to add that one. And now we're adding in the divider so that the paper towel dispenser can be up top. And then I'll have an open drawer on the bottom side, but y'all can kind of see how it is coming along all together. Right now, y'all, we are adding in the swing door, which is actually a paper towel dispenser, which is actually really smart of them to include because we all know when you're grilling, you got paper towels out on the side, they're flipping off, they're falling apart, they're getting messed up. So now you'll have a built-in paper towel dispenser right into your griddle. All right, y'all, so now we are installing the bottom drawer cabinet. Um, this simply just lays right flat on the top. 
there's two screws here there's some in the middle and then the same on the opposite side and then this will wheel directly onto the track and i'll show you that in just a few moments all right y'all so now we have the bottom drawer um assembled and now we're just going to slide that in which should essentially just go you know right on the rack and go in just like that so now we just got to install the other door is it smooth in and out and it locks all right so we are about to install the next door the bottom one there is solid if you can point to that one that one is solid and then up on the top that one is a push one so you don't have to worry about adding in screws so this installation should be quick mm, that's embarrassing no i'm not redoing nothing i'm keeping that in there this is my brother, y'all. And just like that, the pit boss base is almost done. We just got to install our two little side units. And then I think we are essentially pretty good to go. Next, we are installing the bottle opener. Just as a heads up, we're about to add in the side panels now. These ones, as you can see, require just a little bit more preparation when it comes to the screws that are growing, uh, going in, but still not that complicated. We're essentially going to add a bracket here, a bracket there, and then the shelf should essentially just flip directly into the space. I'll come back in a second. All right, y'all. So we have the brackets in. So now we will just go on ahead and attach the shelf. All right, y'all. So we simply just attach this on. Um, there are two screws that need to go underneath, um, which I can show you right now. They go, one goes in that corner, and then the same thing's going to happen on the other side as well. And that'll make it so that when we flip this down, it won't fully detach from the unit. All right, so now we're going to do the exact same thing. We installed the brackets. This is the trash bag holder. I'll show you guys how that opens up as soon as we get it secured to the unit. So I want to show y'all how easy it is just to put it down, to put it back up, and then how to open the little drawer here. And what you can do is you'll pull that out, and then you can put your trash bag right there. So that way, when you're cleaning, when you have your scraps and all that type of stuff, it's all there. So now y'all can see we have the base there. We have the stand on this side where you can put all of your cutlery, we have hanging space on both the left and the right. We have the door where your propane tank will go. We have our paper towel dispenser. And then you have extra drawer space at the bottom. It is on very, very sturdy wheels. So now, y'all, it is time to move over to the big boy. All right, y'all. So the next thing we're going to work on now is adding in this handlebar, which is very sturdy, by the way. Um, we've just added in the two blue washers and we're going to go ahead and get this installed. So now, like I said, we're just getting those installed. We have the washers there, which also gives a nice aesthetic. It kind of finishes the look because as you can see, there is a kind of a blue finish theme that's going on. Once we get this bad boy all hooked up, you'll hopefully get to see some lights glowing as well. So that kind of ties in together with the blue to kind of bring it all together. Like I said, that's a very sturdy handle, which we will need because this is a very, very heavy lid. So now we're gonna go ahead and add the attachment in. It's gonna sit flat down on the base. As you can see, it fits perfectly in there. And at this stage, it's actually not that heavy because we don't have the griddle in there just yet. All right, you guys are gonna have to excuse the light because we're losing a bit of sunlight here. But now we're just going in and securing the, um, you know, the host for the, you know, the griddle plate itself to the actual unit, which is just two screws on each side. So this little cup right here is to collect all of the grease, which we are just simply gonna side, uh, slide, I'm sorry, directly into this little slot here, just like that. So that at the end of the night, we'll be able to get all of the grease out and you'll be able to get a better um, idea of why that's on that side as soon as we add the griddle plate in. But now everything is secure. We can go ahead and open up the sides again. And now we're gonna add on the griddle plate, which is the heaviest part of this entire thing. And just so you guys can see how sturdy the lid is, we'll open that up. It is nice and sturdy. 
and as you can see we added in the stopper right here in the back so that the lid does not go you know it doesn't break off so now it's time to install the actual griddle all right y'all so we have our pit boss ultimate griddle five burner series all put together look this installation process took i would say about maybe two two and a half hours or so it's a lot of little pieces but you know it isn't actually that hard to put together as you can see it has the really cool lights that are glowing in the background that gives it a really nice effect we have our ceramic griddle that is sitting right on the top i cannot wait to get this thing seasoned we have our shelves on both sides with our bottle opener our paper towel dispenser we have another drawer at the bottom it's on very very sturdy wheels which is great because this thing is a beast um, we have the igniter right here, which we put a double A battery in that does come with the grill itself. And that's it. I tried to tell y'all this thing was fire. So y'all already know what to do. Go down in the description box below, click the link, get your hands on one and keep it cooking.